Anyway, on to right. Steins Gates. Things that people can agree are, are good. Steins All right, Gates. so we're going to massive chunk of Steins Gates endings here. We're going to go by order. So uh, Actually, do we want to just do anonymous code? As you know what, may as well get it on this code out of the way, because there's only one ending. We're not doing every conclusion, because fuck you, no, those don't count. Yeah. Otherwise, this Steins Gate route, that would even be longer. But no, fuck that. Uh, because, again, they're just kind of nice bonuses, really, um, for the overall linear story that is Anonymous Code. So this is kind yeah. of a placing of Anonymous Code in its entirety. Pretty much. Onto this list. This is, um, it's, it is solid. I would say it's better than it is, Notes. It is, it is certainly top of A. Yeah. Should it go in S? Probably, yeah. Honestly, yeah. It really should. It should. Because, I mean, Bottom of it, S, it, it, yeah. Because it is, well, I mean, it's, it's the main thing that No Code has going for it is its story. Uh huh. It's good. Is it better than no? Okay, it does again have a, I, a whole I advantage over these in the, in the nature of what it is. I mean, does it go right like behind there or no? Okay, that was no. that was a strong no. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'll leave it alone. I, then. <laughs> I'm willing to hear arguments for no no Senri, but I wouldn't put it above Kozapi. I think it should go. Okay, I think I think I can I can go with that. Okay, I'm okay with this as well. Yeah. Someone's going to look at this fruit and go, what the hell are you actually comparing here? And we'll go, <laughs> fuck you. So, so we're going to start off with Steins Gate. So we're going to start off with the main game. Yeah. Um, if I Which one right, happens first? It would be Suzaha is the first uh, right. ending you come across. Which is, which is the one you end up doing and then you realize, oh shit, that wasn't actually the ending. Right, like it is yeah. an unreasonably common thing of people getting to Suzaha's ending, going, "Well, that game is kind of mid." Like this didn't really line up with what I was anyone say, said. Her ending is, eh. it's just. Eh. I was more referring to people just think that's all of Science Gate and just go off with that, uh, because they don't realize what they were meant to yeah. do to not get that ending. But what would have been fucking great though is if we went back in time with them for even just a little bit, right? But we didn't. They never have. Probably never will. Which sucks. I don't know. Cause I don't. I don't feel the need to do that. Right. I think you're probably being a little harsher on it. Um. Cause I think it's a solid B. I yeah, it's B. It's definitely B. Um. I would say ahead of to you and Mia. Really? Yes. That surprised me. Yeah. I'd I'd be happy to put it there. Also, we'll be happy on the other side. I like how in B tier, you and me is like the, the judgment <laughs> of where things fit on this on this tier. Oh, that was I, a long time to put Suza there. What's next up on the list? Uh, uh, moving on. Uh, was Ferris next or was it Luca? I thought Luca was the last. I, th I believe it's Suza, Hoff, Ferris, Luca, I think. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. So, I'm pretty damn sure that was it. All right, so yeah. Ferris. So Which, this is the one. Okay, you. This is you arguably to, a good end. <laughs> it's the most bittersweet end ever. It's yeah. so bittersweet. I really like this end for for that alone. Mm -hmm. But it's also a lot of fun because don't you? Isn't this the one with the Rynet competition? Yes. Against the Shido crew. Yeah. This one's fun. I really like this end. Yeah, you essentially end up in um. Okabe your... does a time leap. Yeah. That sets him so far off from the main chain that he starts off, he's already Ferris's girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he and yeah. from her perspective, he just suddenly has amnesia and he has to realize what the hell his life is in this world. It's really good. I actually I really like this ending. Yeah. And, and it's so bittersweet too. And it is yeah, it's bittersweet in the way that it is actually arguably another good ending, right? Everyone's... It is object technically it's a good ending because nobody dies, nothing bad happens. But the bittersweetness is that you don't you know anyone else. Okabe and Ferris don't know Kudisu, they don't know Mayuri, they don't know Luca, they don't know Daro, they don't know anyone else. More like anyone. Like who knows that Suzuha's even born then, right? Yeah, and like there's a whole Ryanet competition. Then there's Shido 
chasing him down like for a whole day. Gets beat Again. up a bit for Ferris can rescue him, and then it has the amazing CG of them in the back of the limo with like his his like injured body just laying on Ferris's lap. Yeah, great CG and a technically good ending. No yeah. matter how bittersweet it is, this is fucking great. Should it be an S? I really liked it. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. Yeah, I think we sold it to an S of Nono Henry. Damn it. I- I'm going to say yes tentatively. Okay. I think, to be honest, pretty much anything with Ferris in it, for some reason, she got... Ferris the, is so good. She got a lot of the best roots. And I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm delighted about that. That's amazing. Okay. Um, what else we got? But so then, next would be Luca. Yeah. Who, because of the weight. Sword is right there. Okay. Yep. This ending's fucking great, too, though. Yeah. This one's also bittersweet. But it's is actually my Yuri dies. Yeah, but it's actually sad. <laughs> it's like okay, it's not terrible, but it's still kind of terrible <laughs> in terms of its ending and what happens. But it's where he kind of accepts it in a way and has to move on. From it. Oh, Kabe or Luca? Well, both actually. Both, really. yeah. They, they, that's the thing. They come together and in that Luca respect. Comes... He. Builds up the courage to time leap himself and do the whole cosplay thing just to make sure Mayuri is happy. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 both basic. Essentially, it's a story of Akabe and Luca, um, being able to live after Mayuri's death and being able to cope with Mayuri's death. That's really and lovely. And Luca was a girl too, because yes. he never changed him back. Yeah. Yeah, they, that's, and they that's get to live a happy life together after that. It's this is a pretty good ending. Yeah. Yes, it is. Top of A, or upper A at least. Above Fez? Definitely above Fez. I don't know about Sarah because yeah. I remember it enough. Okay, cool. Well, common end of Chaos Child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember enough. Yeah, okay, below that for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, really good. It's a very good ending. Yeah. Uh, what would Kurisu and Mayuri be the next ones? I think. I think Kurisu's is easier to get, if I remember. Yeah. Right. And in terms of what happens, because. Essentially, is the Mayuri ending the true ending of Steins Gate is an extension of the Mayuri ending setup, if you know what I mean. I don't think you, so. You don't, I thought I don't the think... Mayuri ending is that he accepts that Carisu just didn't live. Yes. So then he accepts Carisu doesn't live. Then in the true ending, Suzaha shows up a few weeks later and goes, Oh, yeah. You're sort right. your shit out. We got stuff to do. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So Carisu, yeah. Um, yeah, Kreese's ending that was obviously where he kind of picks Kreese <laughs> uh, to live. Yeah, more or less. But doesn't she? Aren't they about to go back again? That's when she barges in right there. Yeah, because she was about to leave, right? Wasn't she about mm-hmm. to go back to America? Yes, she what was. Happens after she, that? she. I think that's actually pretty much where it ends. Um. Yeah, she she's already on the way back. It's kind of again like the Mayuri true rouge. They're about to undo the D mail, which would essentially implicitly kill Krisu in doing that. And she and she comes back, and I think it kind of ends there. I, I think, think you're right. I think this route is mainly about the additional interactions between Okabe and Krisu leading yeah. up to this than the actual ending because if you look at the actual conclusion or if you want the branching portion from the main story there isn't much there difficult point exactly placing it then as a result it like B but kind of low end of it because it doesn't yeah so Susan huh or even lower definitely there do you want to put it lower I wouldn't disagree yeah, I have no feeling to put it lower. Okay. Put it there. That's good. Maybe because of the way of it, because of the nature of it, I find it hard to pull out the exact details of what this, this route adds. But, yeah. In a similar way, it's kind of similar to the to the Mayuri ending. Kind of the same deal of you've different interactions throughout the entire story and you lead to a brief branch at the end. Um, that is then your starting point for the true ending. I think, uh, yeah, the issue with these two endings, 
Increasing my Yuri's is that you kind of get they kind of get immediately trumped by the true ending. They that don't shows add up. a whole hell of a lot in the end, right? So yeah, they kind of they feel a bit they feel a little bit in, incomplete, but not in the same way the other ones do. Probably because they're so obviously incomplete. You know, they're so obviously yeah. okay. This is not what you know. You know, okay, the Faris ending, Susa, Luca. You know, okay, this isn't what we were going for here, right? Yeah. Um. These are kind of like, you know, this is this is what happens when you don't do it right. Yeah, so it ends up kind of feeling a bit incomplete and bittersweet as a result, right? But not exactly in this to the same, not exactly the same way that the others do, really. Mhm. Yeah, just I probably I probably put it. I don't I don't even know if the I order of one or the below, other even matters. I was gonna say below P so. I remember some shit that happens in Kadesis at least, so Yeah. Yeah, I think Kadesis one adds more. Her to bursting the in the door cost. is infinitely memorable, yeah. Yeah. Uh anyway, so that gets us to where we were jumping around, which would be then the true ending, which is here. Which this is S tier. And But where? <laughs> yeah. It has to be up around Chaos above Child, or below if not above. Chaos Child is a yeah. question, yeah. <laughs> so, personally, I'm narrowly putting Chaos Child ahead, but I would be happy to have it there. Because it is, right? <laughs> that is yeah. the answer. <laughs> yeah, it is. We can't argue. God damn it. You know, the... Because in a way, it's not only the true ending of Steins Gate. It's the true ending of Steins Gate 0 when you add that in. It's like it's a true ending of all of this. It is, it is very much the epitome of what a true ending should be. You know, you you complete you complete that you get it, which is a little bit of an effort even, because that's the point. This is a really tricky thing to navigate to get to. It's a, it's an impossible conclusion. Um, you know, you're given a choice of A and B, and Okabe has to make it C, and he does it. And yeah, it's the way it happens that the whole the whole last phase and chapter to get to the Steins Gate ending, to get onto the Steins Gate world line, yeah, is is a fantastic conclusion to what we have said many times in these videos is the greatest story ever told. <laughs> so uh there's probably nothing on this list that will top that. No, probably not. Yeah. Unless the next Steins whatever game. Nah, that's not happening. Don't, don't get ahead won't. of yourself. That's not, that's not happening. It probably won't. So. No. Yeah. So that's, right. that's Steins Gate, which yeah, was Original pretty Steins good, <laughs> as you see by the rankings. <laughs> In yeah, terms of the order that they came out then, it would be um, Darling next, wouldn't it? I think so, yeah. And you're going to have to help me out here. In actually picking these apart. Oh, actually, I remember these. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't even know the order. I'm just going to go to the first ones we pick. Uh, um, my down's a brace. Yeah. First up, start. Ferris. Yeah. Which I do remember was very good. Couldn't tell Ferris you. is that's the one where she gets everybody in the lab to yeah. work at the. At the oh, that was great fun. Because, that was good. Because Shido opens the competitor one. Oh, we get the like Akihabara Maid War. That's the Akihabara oh, that was great. Maid War. This that was is good. a fucking great route. That was and, wonderful uh, fun. There's a lot of hanging out with Ferris in it. It's always a good thing. Where you, you find that she's like addicted to electronics, I think. Yeah. Fucking nerds. And collects them. But the whole thing's about the Maid War, and everybody gets to be in Maid Outfits. And just, it's just a ball. It's a really fun time. Yeah. It's certainly A tier. Yeah. I mean, in terms of its great depth or anything like that, no, it's about people messing around with it in a maid war. And yeah. maybe she actually has a thing for you at the end, but that's left very I much put, open I to put interpretation. I love Luca, honestly. <laughs> it was it's fun. I love it. It was so much fun. <laughs> we love My Darling's Embrace. We just love this game. So. If you couldn't tell, we are degenerates. So, of course, we love it. Oh, absolutely. We are the generous that can simultaneously go to great lengths about, you know, how the true end of Steins case one of the best the endings true in end is... a 
of anything in anything ever at the true end of chaos shadows one of the best things ever how devastating kozapi and hanai's endings are how but also touching, how how touching and loving <laughs> anonymous code is but also the fort akibara maid war uh, is on a tier on the same list <laughs> yeah we are degenerates yeah um uh, so Chris has been next in my dad's embrace. It does, it doesn't really matter. You can okay, basically use go whatever order. Yeah, cool. So, well, my ears is definitely last. But um, <laughs> all right, Kirisu. This is the one where they invent the gadget number twelve, which is the the one that bracelet. basically locks them together. Locks, yeah. That won't let Kirisu, Kirisu and Okabe accidentally put on these bracelets that won't come off until yeah. they tr- prove that they love each other or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. they can't be separated by more than a few feet to get shocked, or if they were mean to each other, get shocked, right? So they yeah. have to live with this for a few days, maybe in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. At least a few days. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. We do love each other. We knew this already, but neither of us wanted to admit it. Yeah. It's it... solid. In terms of My Dogs of Race, it's actually one of the weaker routes. But... Oh, it is, yeah. It's it's one of the more forgettable ones, actually. Yeah, but it's still B. Yeah. Probably below... Um... Uh, ahead of Irie. Dash. I remember it has some quite funny moments. It does. But I sure. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Again, it it's fine, it's solid, it has some it has some moments, but it's not really actually what you're gonna remember from this game. Right. It's not what you're gonna take away from it. Yeah. Uh next up then is Lucas. So Luca he is a boy. Basically this is the one where Gabi where Kabi becomes gay. More or less. Yeah. Against if, his if he, will, wants... but he, he rolls with it. <laughs> he rolls with it, and then kind of at the end is like, actually, this is pretty he good. He rolls with it because <laughs> what? Because the whole thing is about making, getting Luca more confidence and just having him be happy. Yeah. Because that's what everybody and their mother wanted to see is Luca happy. Yes. And he does it by just hanging out with him, have being the best friend he could possibly be, and they have a great time. It is so wholesome. I love this fruit. So good. It's so good. It's it's as territory. I don't think it is though. It's top of A for sure though. Is it better than the original Steins Gate Luca Root? Because I I think it is. Absolutely yes. Yeah. Absolutely yes. Cool. I'm happy with that. I can go it, with that. Luca's Root and My Darling's Embrace is my personal favorite. It, yeah. It's just so good. It is really really good. It's so much fun. Yeah. So good. Okay. Uh, we say we're doing my recess, so let's do Moika now. So in Moika's, Braun comes up to Okabe. He's like, dude, I got this girl. Actually, she starts working at the place with yeah. Suzuha for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, he, she needs to be more social. Could you, like, go out with her or something? Like, so you do. Yeah. And it's just basically trying to get her out of her shell in any way, shape, or form yeah. possible. Yeah. Kind of a bit a similar sort of goal to the to the Luca route, in a way. Which includes like forming a band, uh, reasons. her scaring the sh- her scaring the shit out of you by climbing through her own window, going on a coffee shop date, yeah, stuff like that. It's fine. I honestly don't remember a whole lot from it. Again, yeah, it's another solid, but ultimately kind of forgettable. Yeah, I put it below Critics. I probably put it below Iris as well. Iris was was more memorable. Okay, I I'll, I won't disagree. Yeah, I think they. I think it was the weakest route of my darling's embrace. Yeah, overall. I'd agree. Let's look at where we put Nye and Frau's here. That feels a bit off. I, I nearly put it below that. Okay, I've been harsh, but it was kind of. Yeah, it kind of gives me the same feeling that actually Nye's dash route of. It's nice that it exists. It was fine. Not much more than that going on here. Yeah, our B tier is getting. As typical in these things, way overcrowded actually. Yeah. It's what we do. That's fine. Uh Suza has. So in Suza has, she's like working on her bike or something, needs some yeah. help, and Daru helps her out in some way. And in appreciation, she gives Daru a massive hug, to which Daru misinterprets as a liking or a loving. Okay. So then Suzaha has to spend the rest of the time trying to make sure Daru gets back with Yuki, her mom. Hmm. And through that, she ends up going to Kamima, cosplaying, um, and 
through her and Okabe's help, they meet up again, and yeah. uh, and all, uh, she has to fix the timeline. They literally do the plot to Back to the Future. Yes. Uh, which so my issue with this is that they do the same thing again in Phenogram. It's basically, they only have basically two ideas that they can do with Suzuha, and this is like one of them. My issue no, is this. Fenogram, Fenogram is completely different. Just the Darrow in Fenogram. Is oh, well, Darrow's. Mm, that Similar does idea. happen in it, but differently. The, but the, that's my point. It's like, we kind of done this story already? Yeah. It's like, okay, you're doing it in a different way and going about it with slightly different Well, emphasis, this came first. I know this came first, but you, but you see what my point is. It's. Like, I think maybe my point is is that why are half of Suzaha's route not actually about Suzaha? Okay, it's because okay, yes, the <laughs> fixing the timeline so that you exist is an important thing to do. But to be fair, though, through the whole thing, she comes to like Okabe a lot, but it is kind of a side thing for the main. That's that's it's kind of a, where's the emphasis on this? through just doesn't the emphasis doesn't seem to actually be Sousa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? Um I, I get what you mean. In you know, in comparison to the other routes where that's not the really the case. Because it shouldn't be, because that's the whole point of this game. Yeah, I don't know. it's kinda of something that bugs me with, with a bunch of these um Sousa size stories is like really? Yeah. Um I felt like I thought they could have done something a bit more interesting with it. Then yeah, what they ended up with. Uh, yeah, yeah, better than Moekas, but yeah. Okay. Go with that. Uh, which then he's one more then. Darren's yeah. embrace. My Please. Yuri's ending. This is a. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just. Mayuri and Okabe realize how much they love each other. And it's great. Childhood friend deal. It's fucking great. It's a yep. really fucking great love story. Yep. It's Ch childhood friend. It's on the surface, it's cliche. And it probably is as a whole, but it's like you how it's see executed these, you, is you want to see these two together so bad you don't even care. Yeah. It's great. Um Yeah, no, they they, they executed it well enough that take away you know put put aside if you read on paper you go, okay, that seems Pretty mid, yeah. but how it's also, the way it's executed is is so good. Also, beach scene. Was there a beach scene in this? Yeah, remember that's when Mayuri saves oh, Okabe yes, from drowning. Oh yes, yes, there was. And Krisu, Ferris, and Mayuri mm -hmm. and Daru all went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the problem is we can't put it in the beach here because it is much higher than B. Oh God, is it top of A or even bottom of S? I'd be leaning to bottom of S. That's completely fair. No, that's Again, good. my personal preference is to Lucas, but I think Mayuri's is objectively better. So, Mayuri's is what should have been the true ending of my Darren's Brace because it's structured so that the Krisu one is, but ah, that's, that that Mayuri's one blows it out of water. Oh, and yeah, obviously, so much and even you know, Lucas and Ferris's uh, trash it. So, no, I I like to I like to think of the Mayuri ending in my Darren's Brace is actually. A convincing and happy alternate ending to the whole series. Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> yeah, and and is it is and it is executed to that quality to be to do that. If they M many beautiful CGs in that one too. Yeah, it's just great. Mm hmm. It's it's a decent amount of selling point of of that whole game is, you know, it's it's part of it. So you get these, you get. Mary Luca Ferris's route out of that game, and you're like, okay, everything, anything after oh, that's those, a bonus. Those three alone make the entire game. Yeah, and the others are fine as are still good. <laughs> kind of bonuses. They're, yeah, they're still good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I definitely like Suza Haas a lot more than you did, but that's fair. Mm. Yeah, your criticisms are fair and valid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this All thing right. is Wait. a phenogram. Yeah. Linear about a phenogram. Uh, as far as order, I know for sure Okabe's was first and Nye's was last. Other than that, we can just kind of go with the flow. So. Okay, so let's just go with Okabe's first. This is fucking S. This this yes. story is so good. Mm -hmm. 
holy shit, what a way to start a game. And it hits you out of nowhere as well. Oh, God, it hits you out of nowhere. It's really fun. It's really funny. And then it just murders you with <laughs> dread. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Uh, S. Where do we put it in S? Not sure. It's somewhere around God. here, but I'm not sure where. Really? I always wanted to put it around Kozapi. Ah, but that's... Yeah, that's, see, that's the problem. It could go anywhere, like, here. Better than Anonymous Code? As a game? <laughs> Honestly, kind of. <laughs> okay. No offense, but I like... I love that short story so fucking much. <laughs> it's just got everything in it. Yeah. And I've got no arguments because it is really, really good. Uh, okay, right. so we'll just go in order then. Now we're going to kind of wing it on order, so... And then we got here until... Nice. Uh... The brawn Another incredible one. Yes. Jesus. This one is S tier purely for that end because it also hits you like a ton of bricks, but in, in a nice like, way though. A happy way. Yeah. Like oh, it's like, really nice. It's, it's so wholesome. Yeah. It this care this whole short story just make makes brawn so much better. Yeah. And lovable. Mm hmm. I fucking love this one to death. I bawled my eyes out at the end of it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit that. It's so good. I want to put an S. Uh, I, no, no arguments on S. S. Next to Pac Man? S, to be fair. No. No, no. Sorry. The, I read there. I put a Rackle of Fairs. No argument. I think that. that's fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. Darus. I honestly don't remember a whole lot from this other than the part where Suzaha takes the bomb and just kind of fucks off to save his life. Yeah, that's pretty much my conclusion of it, is that it's the one where they end up somehow with a bomb with them. It's just okay. It's definitely not bad. Yeah. You I can... just don't remember a whole lot about it, so... Kind of, yeah, it's like kind of... Not a man to be. Yeah. Doesn't even have a beach scene. What the fuck? Yeah, it doesn't. Well, it's not a C. It's better than a C, though. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. C is, like, below expectations. Yeah, I think we we have we have a bit of a sharp divide going on between the bottom of beach and sea. Yeah. Well, put really puts the Kazuki one in a deep hole. You know, it's it's even below incest. <laughs> the official opinion of this channel. When you is put that, it like that, <laughs> is that Kazuki's route is worse than incest. <laughs> Would you rather watch Nanami's route or Kazuki's route again? Nanami's. <laughs> exactly! That's, yeah, that says a lot, actually. <laughs> Alright, oh, oh thinking about a Fendigram Ferris. This one is also really good. <laughs> yeah. Because it's got Ferris in it, so it's going to be good. It has Ferris in it. The whole of them being cat investigators for... Reasons. I don't even remember why. I think they just wanted to. So they yeah. did. <laughs> Uh, low end of A somewhere. Low end of A, and there's also the bit where Krisu and Okabe are dressed as like lizard people for yes. some reason. Yes. It's so fucking weird, and then it gets really dark when Ferris has to crawl into. Who does she rescue from the building? The was, class building. Was it Suza? I think it was Suza. Was it Suza? I think it was. I think that was the kind of the point to this whole thing. Right. Yes, and then it goes through back through the history, and then Suza. Yeah, it's so good. It. A, yeah. definitely A. Yeah. Um, both the dash ones? Probably both the dash ones. Yeah. Above Irie? I put it above Irie. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, da -da. Apparently this was the Creasy one. Creasy? Yeah. It's, so... It's when she reconciles with her dad and hmm. gets her fork. Yeah, that's all she's ever wanted. It's her fork, and Ferris is a big part of this happening. Yeah, Ferris is very important in a lot of these. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, to because about. because of course Ferris's father, and Suzaha, and Chris's father, you know, were all partners before. That's mm -hmm. and Ferris in someone discovering this or enabling this to happen. You know, it all comes together, right? Yeah, it's actually quite lovely. It's pretty. It's quite good. Yeah. I'm not sure. Is it A? Probably another B. I think. Very high B though. Yeah, I'd uh, put it above the Chaos Head. True, honestly. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I wouldn't disagree for really anything from Fendergram. It's quite. It's very good. It's very wholesome. It, yeah. It's like what if Kurisu was able to make peace with Nakabachi? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And her and Ferris getting incredibly close through it. Praise be. Um, okay, this one is officially labeled as Kyoma, but it's the one where they can't, they have absolutely no fucking clue where Mayuri is, so he starts to think that she got captured or something. Yeah. And it ends up with like, the black robe guy showing up, and he, they, they beat him up and all that, and it turns out she was just sleeping under one of their devices. Yeah. She was like in a giant pumpkin or some shit like that, wasn't it? It's really fucking dumb, but it is funny. And yeah, it's 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 not particularly special though. The ending's kind of funny. That's basically it. Yeah. So like mid mid B, I would say. Yeah. Even below, probably below the normal science gauge. Yeah, probably even. I put it below those. the. I I put it below the embrace. Yeah. Both of them. Was it better than Dash Irie? Probably. Yeah. I feel we're being slightly harsh on Dash Irie. We've kind of ended up with you and me and Dash Irie being kind of boundaries <laughs> that are affecting both of their rankings I think slightly inf inflating you and me and pushing Dash Irie down oh well this clear this is full of shit anyway so yeah uh, Lucas in Phenogram again how does this different differentiate from the other Lucas this one is very this one's quite good it's a bit this one's a slow roller because this, yeah. this starts out with him as a girl mm -hmm. and Oka I think Okabe gave up at this yeah. point. And eventually yes. Luca built up her, her own confidence to go yeah. back herself and yes. keep it going. This is kind of an alternate take on the original story in yes. in Science Gate. But instead of Okabe kind of or building up to like, no, I need to do this, Luca herself does it. She builds her own confidence to do it and then Yeah. At the whole time questioning who she is. Yeah. And I, I'm i pretty sure I cried when she did the leap yep. or something. Yeah, now, now that I know what one this was. No, this was really good. She, yes, because Okabe burst in, right? And she was about to leave and she just says, El Sai Kongaru and leaves. Oh, that was so yeah. good. That's probably going to be another A, isn't it? Low A. Yeah. Below the, the dashes or above? Probably above dashes. But I wouldn't put it above Irie. Yeah. Uh, Mayuri's in Fenogram. I don't remember how it got to this, but I remember it ended up. I being remember it that... got to this scene, and that scene was really good. No, it ends up with Okabe doing some sort of leap so that Mayuri never knew him. Hmm. And that's the point where he leaped to, and he just kind of went and found her again. Yeah, and she she was like, I recognize this guy, but who is it? That sort of deal. Yeah, extremely bittersweet, but I remember it being extremely well done. Yeah. So probably actually next to Lucas, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Above below, maybe, I think maybe... slightly below. I think. I I remember it being pretty good. I was gonna put it below Ferris's. Okay. You can have it. This is one we need to play again. I think. I remember it being quite good. It was. Like, but I don't remember enough to be able to make a reference. This is the part we should have researched uh, before just going, eh, ah, fuck it, let's just... Hey, I've done pretty good for the fucking You've done Steins Gate games. Uh, yes, you actually did it. When I say we, I mean I. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say that, next one, Moika, I don't remember <laughs> what happens. I just remember it's a lot of her becoming actual close friends with everybody. Yeah. But I don't remember much else. Moka got the short end of the stick on a lot of these things, honestly. Yeah. It put... definitely wasn't bad. Her my dad's embrace one was probably better though. Yeah, I was gonna put at the very bottom would be Yeah. I honestly don't remember anything that happens in this. Hopefully we encourage the Moeka defenders to come out and yeah. tell us why we should give a shit. Yeah. But it wasn't bad. It certainly wasn't bad. Because if it was bad, we would have remembered it and we been like, wow, this was shit. Uh-huh. Um, right, Suzaha. Where we had so three Suzaha's. Suzaha's. Yeah, she just kind of wakes up at her camp one day and then and the just... other two are there from alternate dimensions, Gamma for... and Beta? Yeah, for I think so. reasons that probably actually contradict the science and the rest of the series, but sure. Well, only she, only she can see them. That's the bit that contradicts the, the rest of the series. Yeah. In ways, unless you try and extrapolate that it's a glitch in the in the world sim or it's giggly bullshit or okay, okay, you can kind of 
because the series has a catch all and that anything could be anything. Yeah. You can kind of make so, it happen, but also it's like, eh. So it's alternate timeline series of Huss where each world result was different. You have the one yeah. that we know in the blue, that's the real one, the World War Three one that we know pretty well. Yeah. And then the happy go lucky, you know, loves to work as a maid one in a which very is, peaceful world. Yeah, which is the the one that came from a Steinsgate world line are very similar. Yeah. Actually, and, we would only have to really be able to come from a Science Gate world line. Yeah. And uh, so they all end up together with so some fucking weirdness. I don't remember how that worked out, but yeah, it's more or less Suzaha figuring out what she actually wants, I think. Hmm. And the conclusion is that she just kind of has a normal family life with her laying on the table at home with her mother. Yeah. It's okay. It's not particularly great. Again, go back to how uh, Moenka got the short end of the stick. Sousa, I generally felt, got the short end of the stick with these things as well. Definitely did. I would put this... Up. I liked it more than Daru's. Uh, yeah. i put Moika's MDE above it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fire. Alright. Nice. And then uh, the last one is Nae. Now this one... I really like when... this. Yeah, it's fucking great. So this one is after... It's a few years later from most of the events of Steins Gate, but this was one where her father successfully killed himself. Yeah, so this and is... She's, she ended up more or less... She just bunked with Ferris for a few years while she continued to grow up and became extremely close with Ferris. Yeah, it's... Essentially, it's the... What happens in most of the endings of Steins Gate? Because obviously... Mm -hmm. And I, I love this sort of stuff, right? It's... And, when you get this and... sort of thing because it's like okay here was sort of the conclusions you've kind of forgot about or you don't you don't even think of this sort of thing like you see most of the bad ends in science game obviously you just move on um but you don't think well that world continued on or it could have continued on and what would have happened to everyone who's left which as it turns out is really only nye and Ferris are the only ones left Okay, but Nye's route in this is very wholesome in the end. Yeah. Like, she has... It ends with her having hope. And she also got addicted to video games at one point, which is kind of interesting. Yes. Yeah, and this, and yeah, and what ties this together is that um, Daryl comes back because Daryl needs to get into the into the old lab. lab. Right, so, yeah. So Nye and helps, helps him break into, break into the old lab. Yeah, which, wow. And that's what gives her the hope in that, that well, he's going to go and do something that is going to fix this as a result. It's really nice. It's a bit it's like nice. the first the first one as well, in that you don't really expect this. You know? You don't really see this coming, because it fills in a gap that you didn't even know was a gap. Right? Mm -hmm. um, you don't even know it's an area really to even explore. Interesting to think. Out of like all the characters in the science adventure series, Nae is like the most complete. We know so much of her life. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. She's just been in so much. Anyway. Um, so Loe. Loe? I would put it around Ferris's, but. I would, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, put it there. I'd, I'd probably even put it above, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, because I really liked it. I, I, thought, I thought it was a really, really good end to that game. Which then gets us to zero. Science Gate Zero. The one we've put down as a bad end, probably better Less known as the Leskinen end. Leskinen end, Gehenna Stigma as a chapter name. Yeah. All right, so now's where I stuff fail to remember a lot. <laughs> yeah, and now I have to fill in what we do. And basically, Leskinen wins, essentially. Mm -hmm. He's able to stop them. Uh, it comes out what, what Leskinen had been done doing with Kagari in terms of brainwashing her, sending them in, essentially, as a, as a spy and a traitor into their friend group. And... Yeah, he kind of gets away with it <laughs> in this one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think this was the one. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He 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 gets away with it. He basically wins. 
Nice. It's just like your normal, just not bad, not great, bad end. So I guess bottom would be. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fair. What the, these phenogram things? I wish I could remember Moika's phenogram story. I ain't gonna put it there. Like, it's got no issue being in the game, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't stand out in its own right, if you know what I mean. No, it doesn't. But, uh, Except for the scene where they're fighting in the lab. That's a good scene. Well, that stands out for reasons as well. Anyway, uh, switching then to the other side of the coin, which is the the other branch where Kagari is actually Kagari. What the I've fuck happened Kagari... in this one? Well, it's the one that's all about how Mayuri and Kagari met like in the future, and then how they reconnected in the present. Nice. And I, I think maybe the mind injection thing happened in this one, probably. Uh, there, there was a bit of... Yeah, because it was this one where it was coming out that she had been brainwashed, but has somehow gotten away from, as would turn out, Leskinen. Yeah, she was able which to get away from Which is how she ended up just... back at the lab, in a way. Yeah. Because she's kind of just wandering around like, eh. I just remember this room being very touching and adorable. Yeah, I don't... This, and it has the... that gorgeous insert song, too. Yes, it does have that, and I think that's that's basically the end of it, wasn't it? It was kind of, it kind of had a bit of a, a wishy washy conclusion of. It just kind of ended in a way, more or less. Yeah, I think. Um, where nothing, yeah, nothing in the grand scheme of things. I wouldn't say nothing happened, but yeah, but it's kind of like yeah, the yeah, basically she reconnected with with Mayuri. They learn who they are, and then kind of just like. Walk into the sunset dramatically. <laughs> yeah, where does I remember that enjoying it. Yeah, I probably high B. I want high B though. Keep going. Yeah. I wouldn't go much more than this. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, because it was, it was fine. Um. Some bits were very nice, but as a on its own, on its own as a standalone thing, I don't think it holds that great. But to be honest, most of these are probably not going to hold that good, barring one or two in zero. Uh huh. Um, I think logically, then we should do Mahos first. I do actually kind of remember Mahos. So I remember. Okay, I remember that she works with Moeka a lot to uncover yeah. a lot of shit that's going on. Eventually, there's a building raid. Yeah. And they just escape, and she flies back. Yeah, kind of like, shit went down, I'm going home. I remember it being pretty okay. I think, yeah, it's a solid okay. I'll say it, I would just about put it above the Leskinen ending of... Look, I think it's higher than that. Then, a bunch of the robotics and those ones? I was going to put it above Calgary's, honestly. Good effort. Even though I can okay. actually remember it as being a solid ending, but uh... I generally enjoyed the actual going through cover is a bit better. Just, you know, honestly, actually, where you had it is probably about right. Honestly, oh, down here somewhere. Yeah, like there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because again, sure, it's it's needed for the overall plot and the context to. You know, for to have the timeline where they do this, where they uh, do the raid, figure out what's actually going on in the institution, all the dash. But then it's kind of like, okay, she goes home, nothing. Yeah, whatever. And even though so Maho as a character is great, got a lot of time for her. It felt like some things were being stretched here a bit on this route. Like, yeah. I mean, really, she's just kind of stuck in the middle of everything in this one. Yeah, well, she is, but it's also like trying to, she's trying to resolve her own, how, what her relationship was with Krisu. Right, right, right. That's what she's trying to resolve herself. You know, is she, is she higher, is she lower, is she a competitor, is she a friend? Kohai, Senpai, yeah, that type of deal. Yeah, try, you know, trying to make sense of that, which obviously she can't because she's Kind of getting dead. over jealousy also. Yeah, yeah. um... I think, yeah, that's actually a lot of it as well. Um, yeah, with a with a metaphor that probably overstays its welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, all, all throughout Anonymous Killer is like, oh, Kurisu this, Kurisu that. Where the fuck's Maho? 
Excellent point, actually. <laughs> it's a very good point. It depends how much of anomalous code was already written by the time that zero was written. Uh, yeah, that's true too. But they actually, they may have legitimately gone. Oh, actually, we don't know. <laughs> um, we just about know about the concept of Amadeus to be able to put that into anomalous code and actually be fair with how Amadeus was implemented into anomalous code. Um, honestly, that could have been done after zero. Yeah, in, in a rewrite that, afterwards. That 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 kind of feel tacked on. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, the alleged Krisu ending, um, where they actually send the email. The best scene in the whole Science Gate series. The happens. best scene in the whole fucking franchise when yeah. Okabe comes back. That is the best fucking scene. That alone makes it at least an A. <laughs> oh, absolutely yes. Yeah. But we don't remember anything else about it, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, we get... Um, don't they have the, the whole thing in the... Yes, they have the whole thing where, where he goes back and sees her again? Uh, yes, that happens. That was pretty good, too. Uh, right. don't, isn't this also the one where they confront Reyes? Uh, when Reyes. she's trying to... It was when she's trying to... Oh, Reyes, okay. Yes. I, I, <laughs> sorry, your accent kind of failed yeah, me there. Because when, she, when she's... And she captures Kagari and is about to mess her up. Oh, yeah. Man, a lot of good shit happened in this one. Okay, this so that's actually, Yeah, this was a really good one. Again, because... Probably because it's further along on that branch. So obviously mm -hmm. more could happen. More did happen. All for its own benefit. And it was great. Um, yeah, so at least an A. Definitely an A. Where in the A? How high? How low? B below Embrace Luca? Yeah, that feels about right. Yeah. Yeah, because you get that scene. With, the, with yeah. yeah, with the scene of Okabe coming back is like S plus, best scene in the entire goddamn franchise. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but we're not we're not ranking scenes here, right? But that helps a lot because because it is not just that; it's everything else so, around it. It's how he to gets be fair, to that point. To be fair, though, we're kind of putting Hanai is that high based off the one scene we remember. <laughs> it's again on the same lines of it's how you got there, and on this route again, it's how you got. And there. also the fact that we just we re even if we don't remember how a lot of the details and all that of Hinai's, we we both distinctly remember it being an incredible experience. I feel like we're the, being that I high. feel like I I think we're being harsh in this one. We probably are actually. It should probably go an S. It no, this should be an S because yeah, this was. You get to yeah, it's one of those things. You get to the end of it in in zero, and we're like yeah, no, this is this is really fucking good. Yeah, no, this is really good. Actually, jump up somewhere around here-ish. Probably yes. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now our logic's holding together. <laughs> yeah. Making sense. All right. Isn't this where Mario is like, fuck it, I'll do it myself? Yes. But you don't know if she pulls it off or not, and actually it's heavily implied she doesn't. Right. Actually, it's, in the anime, it's actually outright shown that she doesn't pull it off. Actually, because that's the whole point of the true ending, is fixing the fact that they don't succeed mm -hmm. in this one. So these kind of go a bit together, in a way. At least I've lumped so them. So A. Yes. Sounding like an A. It, oh, it's it's most definitely an A, if not more. Because yeah, essentially yeah, you're on the, the path of you're in the science case zero. Where does it, where's it gonna fit? In all of this. Or at least we go. The Mayuri ending in itself is an A. All right. Let's go with that. Yeah. I put it about fast. Hello, I down embrace Ferris. Oh, is it better than the Maid War? <laughs> we probably should. That's only because the Maid War probably shouldn't be anywhere near here, but it is. <laughs> that was a really good route, though. Not disagreeing. I think it should be there. <laughs> okay. Right. Then the true ending, then where, yeah, they expand on this and make this all come together and work and. You then get the true end in Steins Gate as a result of this. And... Above, above, above Steins Gate, Luca. I would, I wouldn't disagree with that. Yep. And I don't want to put it past my darling's embrace, Luca. I think yeah, looked as looked as individually, 
Kind of, yeah. Yeah, right? Because as an ending, for what it is, and for as the get end is for the Sonic Gear Zero as a whole, yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. It, like, it was very good. You know, it was a very good ending for, you know, as an individual, as the game as a whole. But, yeah, it's not quite on the same level as Science Gate and Chaos Child level of ending. Better than Chaos Head level of ending and Robotics Notes, mind, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I think that's reasonable. And this so we got a list. list. Yeah. If you disagree, uh, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> Actually, you're probably right. Let's be real. I like this list. I'm pretty happy with this one too. Well, I hope I hope we'll be happy now. We're gonna look at it. You're gonna look back at it like in like two days and go, "What were we thinking? We're mad." <laughs> um, Wait, why is my darling's embrace and B at all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my. Why is it an S? <laughs> <laughs> at the very least it is better than the character tier list it's better Why than that character tier list so shit because <laughs> we don't know what we want we don't <laughs> and arguably at times we don't know what we want in this one but not to the same extent so yeah it kind of works out <laughs> if anything this is kind of these are the best parts of this whole series basically mm-hmm I think on that on that front it succeeds. The better parts of the better games are at the top. The worst parts of the less better games are at the bottom. So yeah, and that's a cool thing too, right? We always went through an entire franchise worth of endings, Sans the Love Choo Choo's and Occultic Nine. Yeah, and there's only one ending that we explicitly don't like. Yeah, one that was mostly good but ended terribly. Mm -hmm. Three or four that were below mid. Yeah, and then rest that were good or better yeah i mean i think we're even being a bit harsh in the b ending actually in chaos head but whatever it's it's there it's fine yeah yeah there's probably some more nuance we could have had in the middle but screw you we're not going to end up with just, 50 tiers like we did in the character one just wait until well, we had a lot of characters too to be fair well we had a lot of tiers well, we had three and, meme tiers yeah they all made sense yes they do there's a logic. Yeah. So when we play Love Choo Choo, because we will play Love Choo Choo, hmm. uh, we will have. That's going to fuck all this up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. We're going to end up with like, uh, like 12 S <laughs> S's. We're just, we're just going to have to add like a S plus above just, just for the fucking Love Choo Choo. Yeah. I think we'll have to do that just so it can be discounted from any rational discussion. So you can just uh, go, okay. yeah, just ignore that whole line and just move on. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, we, we're massively overhyping those games. We're going to be so disappointed when we actually read them. Or we're not going to be. I I really hope I'm proven wrong, but I think we're going to be massively disappointed because, not because they're bad, oh, but because probably, we've but... just hyped them way too much. Oh, probably. You're probably right, but yeah, I don't like, care. Again, they're not going to be bad at all. We just massively overhyped them. <laughs> desperate degenerates i still feel like we have no idea what we're getting into with them anyway no we don't that's a list maybe next time we'll actually put out something of substance <laughs> or we'll come up with another idea for a tier list who knows you'll probably yeah. find out in about two months when the next video comes out <laughs>